Hi. It's the 1st of February. It's Melbourne. Just had a heat wave and now today it's lovely and cool and there's like sunshine and clouds, a little bit of a breeze and I just thought that I might record the day. Wow, how cool is this? Wow, smells like spray I love the smell of spray paint. I actually documenting him doing it. How cool. <laughs> That's great. You do a really good job. Did you do this side? No. Oh, you're doing this side. Love it. <laughs> so, you've seen it here at the beginning. So, it's going to end up being something that contributes to a reflective version of that. How cool. This is a new block. It's only just been uh, been put up in the last couple of months. It was actually um, two terrace houses. Anyway, so this is the other part of the alleyway. And this is where there's already the mural down here. So I think it's really cool that I've actually captured that for like prosperity. God, I hope he's got permission to do it. <laughs> you can imagine if I'm dobbing him in. Anyway, sucked in. If he hasn't got permission, he hasn't got permission. That's life. Anyway, I might uh, film this on the way back. Okay, here we are back in the laneway. I thought we'd check on the progress. Might as well show you the laneway as I go. Yeah, that's the beginning there. You go all the way around. You've seen this laneway before on my YouTube channel. Maybe not in such good high definition as what I've got now. That's pretty groovy art. You know, you're walking along and then suddenly you find a gorilla or two. So, this is the other end of the building. I'll zoom. Hmm. That's pretty cool. You can see how he's mapped out his guideline here. Well, hopefully you can see it's a bit dark. It's groovy, huh? It's very nice work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and if that's not good enough, you can get high on the fumes from the paint. So here we are, a week later, this guy's taken him over a week. Cool. Been watching your progress over the week. Oh, cool. We're getting there. I've made a video from like from when you were painting way down there to here. Awesome. And you finished my end of this week, hopefully. One of the hazards of the job is breathing in that stuff, huh? Oh, yeah, it's bad. 
<laughs> oh wow, dragon. Way cool. I do like a dragon. Wow, that's cool. Artist at work. Gotta love it. Okay, so your name is? Uh, Drew. Drew, D-R-E-W. And your last name? Uh, people call me Drew Funk. Drew Funk, as in F-U-N-K? Yeah. Cool. And you're doing the, the art on the wall here. What's it called? Have you named it something? Um, Have you given it a name? No, not really. I haven't titled it yet. Um, Dragon Fisherman. Dragon Fisherman. Okay. And is it in uh, what inspired you to create this artwork on the wall? Oh, it's a, from a, an old piece of mine that was called uh, Origami Origami God. Origami God. Yeah, yeah. So that's an artwork that you've done somewhere else. Uh, on a piece of wood. Oh, on a piece of wood, and so you had the idea to put it on this wall. Yeah. Oh, cool. And this is a new building that's only just gone up. Yeah. Like, did the did you get permission from the, the building owners or did they ask you to do it or? No, they commissioned me. So did they, did they set you out and say? Yeah, yeah, they emailed me on my website. Oh cool, and what is your website? Drewfunk.com. Drewfunk.com? Yep. Okay, cool. Um, so this is really cool. Um, what else can I ask you? Uh, how long have you been painting? Uh, professionally about four years. About four years professionally. How old are you? Not professionally, about 11 years. About 11 years off the record. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 28 now. 28? Yeah. Just a baby. Yeah. <laughs> Sat in return. 28, everything changes. Yeah, always. Um, uh, what else, what else can I throw in there? Um, did you do any, uh, you're from Malaysia originally? Yeah. And, uh... Did you, have you done any studies to become an artist or is it just a natural um, talent? I did, I, did, I, did, I did my degree in, in RMIT. Oh, so you have a degree? What's your degree in? Uh, I have a bachelor's in multimedia. A, bachelor's, a bachelor in multimedia through RMIT here in Melbourne? Yeah. Cool. Um, uh, were you born here in Australia or born in... I was born in Malaysia. Born in Malaysia? Did, yeah. And you, when did you come, come to the country? When you were young? With your family? When did I come to the country? Yeah. Um, yeah, I came here for studies. Oh, okay, cool. And then, yeah, but I was always doing graffiti ever since I was really young. Okay, cool. Yeah, so basically... And so you've always aspired to be a graffiti artist, or is it just... No, no, no uh, graffiti was a hobby. It's a hobby. Yeah, eventually it became a profession. Cool. I have a background in design, so most of my works are compo composed in a very design way. Okay. Oh, of course, yeah. I'm, I'm actually learning arts myself. That's why I had the interest. Oh, cool. I, I'm learning commercial art and graphic design right now. Cool. Yeah. So I understand. I understand where you're coming from. Yeah. Um, and is there a significance in the dragon because it's the year of the dragon? Yep. Okay, um, cool. Yeah, kind of. It's my first dragon this year. I've painted many dragons. This is the first dragon that I've painted this year. Okay. Yeah. So, dragon is a pretty lucky dragon. So, um, uh, what else can I ask you? I think that's probably all the all the details, isn't it? Oh, you got any more questions? You can send me an email. And then sure. Now that I've got your your web address. Yeah. Drewfunk.com. Drewfunk.com. Yeah. You'll be on this wall once I finish with it. I'll, I normally sign it on my website. Yep. Yeah. Cool. It's just that I've got to. I've got to write this by the twentieth. I've got yeah, to. Cool. My bio, everything is in there. So I'll come. I'll come past here. I've taken a couple of photos of you while you're actually painting the wall. Yeah, cool. 
Um, so I'll come past here, like, uh, I live around the corner. Yep, yep. Awesome. And I'll, I'll take a photo of it when it's finished. Hopefully that'll be finished before it goes to print. If yep. not, not to worry. Not a problem. Because what... Email if there's any questions or whatever, you know. What my article that I'm submitting is about, because I actually, because I live in the area and it's a local paper. Yep, yep. I ran into an artist down the street painting a wall. That has chalk? No, she pa she did a work as part of the St Kilda Council. The, oh, cool. uh, basically, she painted all the different bricks, different colours. Um, yeah, it was a brick wall, an ugly brick wall. She painted all different colours because she lives in the area and she didn't want it to be ugly. Yeah, yeah. So Telstra paid a commission to do it. Yeah. So. Did it, look, did it look good? Yeah, it does actually. It's different. Diff you know, it's not totally different artwork to this. But my concept is for the article that, you know, in my travels around St Kilda, I keep on coming across artists, what well, artists in work, work in progress, that's really cool. Yeah, yeah. So, Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's a, quite a, a big creative community that's around here. And I'll, I'll throw your website uh, in the article as well. Yeah, awesome. And hopefully they won't um, alter my article when it goes to print. Uh, they shouldn't though. Well, you know, tell, them, tell them I've been featured in the age before and I saw the Herald Sun a couple of times. Oh okay, so you've been featured in the age? Yeah. And I, the... I, I got a full, full page on the age. Okay. okay. All this stuff would be on your website, wouldn't it? Yeah, everything's on my website. I'll, I'll go suss it out. Alright, cool. Well that's really cool. Easy. Thank you very much for the interview and no problem. I'm really happy to help the cause. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so here's the finished work. Not a very sunny day today. But I thought I'd come and check it out now that it's all done. And of course there's the existing one on the other side. But this is the one that Drew Funk painted. And it goes all the way. Going, going, going until it gets around this corner and then when it comes around this corner there's a big beautiful dragon so there is Drew Funk's creation which is quite nice I like a nice dragon, it's called Fisherman Dragon So there you go, there it is, the finished product. You're watching Steve TV.